welcome to the session on camera based quality inspection in our uh, series of uh, cutting uh, from the session for the last week uh, myself surendra uh, chief autonomous officer at maxpet technologies so as uh, discussed already today's session we will mainly focus on the need for quality and how camera based quality inspection plays a very very major role in the current uh, manufacturing and uh, inspection scenarios in the industries and the uh, shop floor so this is a major thing that we are going to see so in order to start with i would like to start with the concept of quality 4.0 like um, the common terms like industry 4.0 and uh, lean 4.0 Now, so uh, everything is move on to uh, moving on to the next industrial revolutions. Likewise, quality is also one of the very very crucial and very very critical KPIs uh, for any manufacturing firm. So how they are going to ensure the quality right from the raw material delivery in the production, uh, even the, in the testing, and then uh, dispatch, and then even on the customer sides, how the quality of the product is being ensured, and each and every customers are being rated upon based on their product performance and the quality. so quality again is not a single department work it has to flow through right from the complete product life cycle so uh, in this quality 4.0 is a concept uh, where uh, the key focus is given on the quality right from the r&d uh, where we will be uh, planning the product development and also uh, using uh, some of the advanced analytics that will help us in the decisions so these are some of the quality terms or quality critical data that we'll be using in the r&d side and then we will be coming in the procurement uh, where we will be uh, using the supplier performance dashboards and integration of supplier quality data and analytics when we are going to purchase a material from outside from any other supplier so how we are going to ensure the quality performance from the suppliers so that is one of the key index of quality 4.0 as well and then comes the major key one major thing that is the manufacturing where we will be fully focusing on the digital quality and one of the major element in the digital quality is machine vision quality control where we will be using a set of cameras and uh, that will be completely eliminating the manual work of uh, um, manually inspecting a part or doing the quality inspection or whatever the quality checklist that has to be executed so how this manual quality inspection can completely be replaced by the digital quality and automated inspection is something what machine vision based quality inspection or uh, quality control deals with and then uh, all our digital sops the standard operating procedures and the manufacturing <coughs> sorry manufacturing <coughs> sorry manufacturing information guidelines and that also will come into picture on how to do the manufacturing in a very well streamlined process so that is a key concept in the manufacturing then comes the logistics on the part is being manufactured and it is being inspected then the part has to be shipped to the customer site or the next next level so how quality plays a critical role in the larger logistics area as well and then once the part goes to the customer's uh, place or once it's installed in the field how the service and after sales comes into picture like uh, remote quality diagnostics for customer support and the warranty management with it, with the uh, enhanced uh, with the uh, iot and analytics part so these are some which deals with the digital transformation also um, and then uh, the complete quality dashboards which is kind of a cross functional dashboards which is very very critical to the quality like centralization how the complete quality data of the complete plant can be viewed from a central location and the end to end quality management system is some of the key concepts of this quality 4.0 and in this session specifically we are going to focus on digital quality in that particularly on machine vision based quality control so this is the so i just wanted to give an overview on this quality 4.0 and then we will pitch into the machine vision based system so digital quality inspection system uh, consists of three types one is pre production inspection inline inspection final inspection um, pre production inspection as the name indicates uh, Majorly deals with the inspection of the raw materials, particularly for their dimensions, uh, their physical properties, uh, and, uh, so they can check whether it is well suited for the manufacturing condition. So the pre raw materials can be inspected there, and then it will come into the manufacturing. Where the inline inspection will happen, like on the fly validation of the parts, on the fly inspection of the parts can be easily be done with the help of this camera based quality inspections. And once the parts are manufactured, uh, then it can move into the final testing stage, where the final inspection will happen. and all of the reports will be generated so the digital reports can easily be got from this uh, quality inspection system so the dqis is something uh, with now the critical aspects uh, in this uh, 
the digital transformation um, maturity model for all the factories as well uh, because they are now seeing quality is one of the key integrated and one of the very key element as an outcome of the digital implementation so this is digital quality inspection system is one of a, a primary module that will come along with all the um, uh, other iot systems or other automation automation systems as well so once we drill down specifically into the cameras there are multiple um, camera types of there are various type of inspection cameras being used uh, one is the visual inspection camera thermal inspection camera and the probe inspection cameras mainly for the critical parts or radiography inspection camera which will check the interesting details for the parts um, so this um, camera based quality inspection machine vision based inspection primarily deals with the visual inspection camera which is the first part here um, where predominantly we are going to fit in a camera uh, either on the assembly line or the machining lines and then it can validate the parts based on the certain use cases so we will um, see what are the use cases that we are going to validate in the next, next slides so what are the key elements of the vision system is something like uh, um, the image acquisition once uh, the uh, part which we are going to inspect or the assembly or final assemble to component which you are going to ins inspect uh, so that has to be placed under a particular inspection station or it can be validated on the fly in the assembly line itself so the required sensors optics and lightings will be integral part of this image acquisition system and then once the proper image has been acquired uh, the data will be sent uh, through a, with the help of plc to an uh, um, application software or application platform that is where the complete analysis will happen like uh, the image will be compared sorry hello So where the complete analysis will be happen, happening, where the critical software components will be or pl application platform will be deployed. So there we'll be comparing the images uh, with help of with already taken a good image and the image uh, overlaying will be happening there. And also the required um, uh, what is algorithm will be running there. Uh, machine learning, uh, uh, deep learning algorithms will be running there, which will help us to analyze the given uh, set of images. And then we'll be uh, go going to the application where we'll be taking out the results uh, and then what kind of uh, uh, communication that has to be made to the next next step for components or next next line or to the inspection station or to the inspection assembly line and then uh, what is the required automation in order to ensure that this quality inspection is or the quality errors is not happening so these are the particular key, key, key critical elements for a vision system and how generally how a vision system will work um, is like kind of a basic physics that has been depicted here like a, a camera will be captured there and then um, the images will be captured with the help of the camera and then it will be transferred to this uh, particular uh, um, platform application platform uh, where the image processing will happen and the required results will be given to us uh, uh, for the complete analysis so this is how the basics for the vision system how it will work and how the vision system will have a complete process flow. So once uh, you have the component being ready, so there are two types of the type of visual inspection we can see in the later stages, how this vision inspection is happening. So one such vision inspection is once the product is machined or the complete product is assembled, they will be taking to an uh, inspection area. There will be a separate dedicated inspection area. So there the, the digital or the compound will be kept there. So that is what we call the scene preparation. Um, uh, the image will be kept there and then the, uh, the cameras will be set up there so that it can able to capture that particular images of a, uh, the assembled product or the finished goods. So images will be acquisited. Uh, image acquisition will happen and then the images will be sent to the uh, analyze and include processed and then image enhancement filtering will happen the feature extraction will happen direction and classification so these are some of the key critical steps that is happening inside the vision system like how the uh, image is captured and then how it is directed and then the final decision has been made and then the results has been published so these are somewhat somewhat more uh, in depth one step below technical uh, details of how our vision system will uh, still further work so there are various uh, system use cases like which uh, this vision system plays a very very critical role like uh, inspecting parts for defects uh, this is one of the very very key element uh, where it can help to based on our requirement based on the part that we manufacture uh, we can help to find the different uh, defects in a part like uh, whether the thread is missing or if uh, there is an uh, o-ring present is present or not whether there's a physical damage so any kind of defects uh, which is required for our 
particular application can be inspected through this vision system and then uh, whether um, that is on the part side and in the assembly side also whether the assembly is proper whether all the nuts and bolts are in place whether the welding is done correctly or the sequence uh, all the components are in place or not so those kind of uh, assembly verification also can be done and the gauge critical dimensions can also be verified for the final products uh, whether um, the, the, that final product suits the dimension so those kind of dimension quality also can be checked with the help of vision system and the confirmed part present as I said before any other um, part present that has to be detected like uh, the o-ring has been present or any seal has been present or not so that those kind of inspection also can be done and the part can be accepted or rejected and the tracking and sorting of the parts also can be done with the help of the vision system uh, whether we want to move to the, um, there are multiple products that run several mix of products running in a line so we have to segregate the parts based upon the color or based upon the size or based upon their physical properties so anything can be inspected and that particular tracking and sorting of that particular component can also be done and then guided robotic alignment which will help uh, mission mission uh, this uh, camera inspection system to be uh, coordinately or to be closely working with a robotic arm and then it will detect or it will guide that robotic arm to move to a specific area. So that can that complete automation also can be done. So there are multiple uh, use cases which with which the camera based inspection can be performed. So based upon the use cases that we require, we can select the specific cameras and we can select the specific use cases and we can implement it. So this all this will eliminate the complete manual efforts and one of the major reasons that we go for this uh, uh, automated camera based visual inspection is um, the complete manual intervention is being eliminated. Uh, it will all the uh, records or all the uh, reports will be captured digitally and whenever we need, we can able to get that reports automatically and then we can uh, what to say, analyze that report and then we can move on to the next next step. So these are some of the very very key and uh, critical use cases and the benefits for the camera based vision system. So this is how a typical vision system solution uh, can be done uh, inside a factory shop floor. Uh, we can have a vision system uh, that can be either 2D or 3D camera based upon the application that we require. And then um, the, it has a PLC that has been connected. So all the digital images that has been captured is being transferred to the PLCs. And then it is going to vision software. So there are multiple players in the market like IFM or Cognos that will provide the required vision software for that one, which will analyze the given set of images and will provide the proper results and based on a particular result we can able to interpret the data like real time quality inspection digital quality reports user and asset configuration or some of the key elements that can be done and it can be integrated with our iot systems or any other sap system so that the required quality results is being fed back to the same system so that it forms a complete closed loop system so once the product is being uh, defective product is identified and it has been eliminated from the line for what the quality rejection has happened or how many times the same part has been eliminated or rejected from a particular line. So all these required analytics and insights can be easily captured from this data, which can be further used for our improvement or optimizing our production efficiency or optimizing our assembly lines. So some of the key benefits as listed down below, improved quality and reduced lead time, uh, digital reports and it forms a complete closed loop system and optimize the process flow, some of the key benefits that we are uh, recognizing or that we are getting from this vision system. So once the vision system is in, uh, before uh, is the implementation of the vision system, the complete process is manual where users will take the part manually, they will inspect the part manually, they will report it manually, and there are a lot of paperwork needs to be done and then it will be either accepted or rejected. So once uh, the vision system is implemented, how the user journey will be, like uh, the parts will be manufactured and then automatic quality inspection system will enable it, um, will, be, will be getting enabled. So once the result is based upon the uh, uh, output from this automatic quality inspection. If it is success, then it go for the delivery part and the reports and analytics will also be generated. If it's failed also, the reports and analytics will be created and then it will go for rework or scrap. So this is a complete uh, automated process um, for which uh, the inspection system is implemented and the required analytics and reports also being uh, derived from this quality inspection system. So this is the, how the user journey will be after implementing. There won't be any manual work in between. There is no need of any manual intervention in between. Uh, for the inspection, the decisions can auto automatically be made and it gets, can be accepted or rejected and it can we can move for the next step very, very quickly. So this is a typical system architecture. 
um, where the first layer will be the device layer uh, where the either stations or missions we can connect it and then we have the required PLCs and the vision software and you see the vision software there are a lot of uh, critical components being running there there will be a huge database and there will be a lot of algorithms running like um, image acquisition uh, monitoring engines configuration rules uh, so these are some of the key elements of the vision system software similarly on the machine learning platform a lot of algorithms for batch processing for stream processing for decision making for image capturing for image processing so all these algorithms can be given there and also it can be integrated with any other systems like our erp um, plm or mes system uh, with the help of the critical with the help of the apis and it can able to work as a single system also so likewise the quality data can be used to make the critical decisions so and then the users can see the real time quality data data with the help of the required dashboards and also in, in any type of devices which they prefer either mobile or uh, laptop or tab wherever the, whichever is convenient they can able to view the required data because since it is integrated and it's a closed loop system it can be viewed from anywhere so next uh, few slides uh, show some of the options how a quality inspection system can be uh, made for an assembly line as well as machining line so consider this as the assembly line um, where we have a conveyor and there are five to five stations and the material is flowing on the conveyor so after each station there will be a vision camera which will help us to directly take the decision so once the first station is done then the part will be inspected for certain set of criteria and then once if it is passed then when it will move to the next station otherwise it will be automatically registered in the first station itself and then it will move to the next station again after second station assembly is done there then uh, the vision inspection camera it will pass through the the vision inspection camera will be installed over the conveyor line so that it will capture the materials in the real time we can see the, uh, the um, number of um, firms per they are talking in frames per second um, in every second they will capture multiple frames and it will combine or it will compare very quickly and give the result maybe within uh, seconds it will, the results will be given to the user and then the on the fly validation will be keep on running so this is one type of implementation uh, strategy or we can implement the vision based system uh, for the quality inspection on the assembly line conveyor or the second system is how it can be integrated with the last session we have talked about uh, amrs uh, how um, the, the amrs will be used for the ec material movement uh, and to automate the complete material movement so the once the complete assembly is done the materials will be shifted to, uh, to the amr through with the help of amr through inspection area so where the particular dedicated vision system will be present and the components will be verified for the quality criteria so this in uh, uh, this resembles a complete end to an automated system without any manual intervention and so the material movement conveyor is running automatically assembly is happening in the machines once it is done the amr is helped to with the help of cobots and robots amr will move the material to inspection inspection is done automatically with the help of this camera based inspection system and then the results are done or digitally captured and or um, it can be available digitally so that we can verify at any point of time and we can make our decisions easily so this is uh, like kind of a second option that can be implemented for assembly lines similarly for machining area uh, this is one of the use cases where the machine before machining and after machining the components has to be checked for their dimensional quality um, for their uh, material quality for their finishing quality and everything so before and after also we can place the inspection camera and that the materials can be checked all the components parts can be checked for the dimensional quality and other required quality parameters and if it is failing in any one of the machines it can be rejected there itself instead of going to the last line so this is one set of implementation approach similarly there is this uh Uh, there are other implementation uh, other inspection methodologies like um, uh, tactile and non tactile it is touch and non touch mechanisms so with help of laser based technique where inside the machine itself we can place the uh, like kind of a laser so that it can inspect the parts while machining itself and then uh, the inspection cameras will be provided outside the machines to again verify the part and then ensure the quality of the part so this is again one kind of implementation and the third uh, implementation approach can be like a, a series of machines is there and again amrs will help them to move the materials to a inspection area they will check it there and then uh, the required results will be processed and the component or uh, the parts can be either accepted or rejected based on the quality result so these are some of the various options uh, that uh, machine vision camera can be implemented in an assembly line or in a machining line
and this uh, some of the snapshots i just want to capture it to show the how the vision system software will be looking like how the image will be captured how the results will be so image will be once it will be captured in very live time and the images will be recorded here and then it will be compared with a good uh, already in a verified quality image and then the results will be published immediately and then there will be another set of automated system to either accept or reject that particular component so this is this can be closely integrated with our vision system software as well so what are the key features of a vision system so one is obviously the digital quality inspection itself uh, where uh, we will be having multiple algorithms which will be running for presence and absence of the project objects uh, and defect detection or cosmetic inspection like any scratch or dent on a particular part or a particular surface it can be done or guiding or alignment inspection also can be done so it just um, uh, edge learning to process the vast images rule based technologies automatic image acquisition so these are some of the key features in digital quality inspection but this digital quality inspection will not alone constitute our complete quality cycle so we have the digital quality checklist as well so there will be multiple quality checklist um, for each and every process or each and every product or a component so all this checklist can also be digitized and can be integrated with this particular quality inspection system so the digital quality is uh, um, one by one checks can be performed automatically and the results will be done and the, our uh, statistical process control or spc tools online spc tools can be integrated easily our digital quality checklist for each and every process can be bought in the digital system and any workflows like approval rejection workflows also can easily be integrated in this in this complete workflow so the complete end to end quality system can easily be uh, managed here and third is the quality report so we have the inspected we have uh, um, the quality checklist here the next one will be digital reports where the performance and trends of the quality data can easily be measured and captured and the quality standard and adherence can easily be monitored and the required analytics, analytics and insights can be got from the report and uh, we can be able to uh, see or review the quality measures that has been taken for that particular line or an assembly line or a product once after there is a defect is being identified so these are some of the very key components for a vision system or we can say critical features for a uh, vision system so as i said before the, the complete entire system will help us to form a complete closed loop system assuming there is a mission um, uh, which with the vision system is being enabled so the data will completely it will be always flowing to our iot iot system uh, so the quality data will be captured in every one second or two day, two second with this uh, integration or uh, with the iot system there and then the real time notification will be provided either to the maintenance team or to the plant head or to the quality inspection leader so that they can able to continuously monitor so if a particular quality limit is exceeding say for example in a particular mission out of 10 components if five components are getting rejected then that's a serious concern that has to be taken place so the, those kind of immediate action instead of preventive corrective action that we can take some preventive action and time bound actions can be taken because of this complete closed loop system so only we are enabled so we recommend to enable this a complete closed loop system so that it can easily be monitored and the real time actions can easily be taken uh, the time bound action can easily be taken so this is how uh, a general typical may uh, system vision system can be uh, implemented uh, it is consists of around uh, a nine step process right from the required design simulation and then the procurement of the required components and assembly and then testing field testing deployment and then after we go for the customer and uh, support and customer experience so these are some of the case studies which i wanted to uh, show to you like uh, uh, how a vision system will help us in presence and uh, like monitoring of the threats it can easily be identified so if you can see my cursor here uh this is the correct part and this is the incorrect part so those co components can easily be identified and then the orientation of an engineer is one of the use case that can easily be identified with help of this and the accurate shape for the injection molded parts whether our injection molded parts are the correct shape so for example here the shape is not correct so it will be automatically rejected there and the like the nut has been inserted in now seated correctly the position orientation nut um, in an assembly can easily be rejected so these are some of the case studies um, which i want to present here and the next couple of slides will show you some real time videos as well um, so with our uh, partner the ifm also we are closely working with so this is uh, one uh, example where we can able to detect the glue uh, direction on the carton boxes so if you can see here 
the real live data it is running at a very high speed uh, the conveyor is running at a very high speed uh, and then it can easily be captured here uh, so if you can see that uh, whenever a part is being uh, uh, what to say uh, detected it will automatically be rejected here so even with high speed conveyor uh, the quality inspection system can easily be enabled this is one uh, use case and this is uh, another use case of uh, of detecting the caps on the pit bottles. So if you can see this also moving at a very high speed. So this is an inspection camera here, which is being implemented on the line. So you can see the software always detecting. So whenever there is an, an a bottle uh, without any caps there, it will easily be identified there and it will be rejected. So this is used for very high uh, speed conveyor line. Also this camera based quality inspection can very well uh, we easily be integrated. And this is one such use cases which I said uh, where uh, the uh, machine vision camera can be installed on the cobot system. So if you can see, it has been installed on the cobot arm. And then uh, uh, this cobot arm will help to identify the cotton boxes based on the sizes. It will uh, position or it will uh, segregate the cotton boxes based on the sizes here. So we can see it will automatically take the size and it will place on the required uh, for what to say um, required area according to that particular size. So this um, machine camera can easily be integrated with any other robots and robots also, so that uh, we can uh, able to uh, have the complete end to end automation. And these are several other use cases which can able to here you can see um, the complete uh, detection parts welding inspection how it is being inspected there so all the nuts and bolts if any welded like, defect is there it'll, see it's showing defected here so all the welded joints will be inspected and the defected part can easily be identified here this is one such use case for a welding inspection system and as i said as the name indicates is for a nut inspection system for automotive oem where uh, the nuts are being inspected and if there is any um, uh, nuts which is off or uh, where the threads are not proper or uh, if any damage this happen then the nuts will be automatically rejected here So again, this camera will be, it can be integrated with any uh, assembly lines or any machining lines uh, so that it will form an integral part of the particular system. And then it will try to start capturing that particular, uh, uh, what to say, uh, the images, and then we can able to compare it and then we can able to take the required decisions. And uh, this actually is just detecting the surface here. If you can see this camera is raised on the detecting for any surface scratches or dents and if it is able to find any scratches or dents that part will be automatically rejected. Yeah. 